Well, hello there. It's a new week of daily vlogs. Welcome to Monday. I'm just looking outside because it's been the most glorious sunny day today. Very windy. So rewind to yesterday, to Sunday. Uh, yeah, very windy. The storm did come in. Very, very gusty. Although down south, down south, uh, we didn't get it anywhere near like they got it up north and particularly Scotland because I think that's where the storm hit. So it kind of grazed the rest of the country, but there were widespread alerts for wind yesterday. And I think today. So last night, yeah, very gusty. We could hear it coming down the chimney. You can feel the wind penetrating the house, just how it is. But it was feeling quite mild yesterday, which was a blessing. Because that kind of means when we put the heating on, it kind of feels warmer. It actually feels warmer, which is great. Yeah. So had a good day yesterday, fairly quiet, few chores, cleaning the loo, cleaning the bathroom, uh, doing washing, putting washing away, tidying up, vacuuming, blah, 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 the usual stuff. Usual stuff that we all have to do. We're not rich, are we? We're the poor people. We don't have servants and maids, do we? No. No. And I'm glad of it, frankly, because it's the only exercise I get at the moment. And, you know, it's interesting because things like doing the bedding, which I did this morning, because it's been another day of, of doing a few chores. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, bedding. That's it. Doing the bedding. That to me is a good workout because we have super king size quilts. We have three of them. I know, crazy. I don't do three sets of bedding each time. I've got a winter duvet, which is a double duvet, in one cover. And then the cover that's against our skin is a single summer duvet. So that's the one I change along with the sheet and the pillowcases. Um, I, I give them a good shake, a really good shake to puff them up. And I always feel lovely and warm when I've done that. So I did that this morning, which kind of got me going. Um, but I also noticed I had to do a repair on the sheet that I was, well, on the pillowcases that I was putting on, the new ones, the fresh ones. And they are quite old Ikea ones. So I noticed another rip. So I had to get the sewing machine out and do that. So I did that as well. And this morning I did more washing, putting things away, blah, 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 so on and so forth. But the good news is yesterday, sorry, skipping about a bit, feeling quite energetic, which is good. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, did a little bit of music yesterday afternoon. I'm going to do a little bit this afternoon. And I thought I might take you along and just show you how it kind of works, because I think people sort of have this feeling that computer music, digital music and digital composing is a little bit complex and mysterious and whoa, how does that happen? Well, it's not. And I'm kind of going to show you how it kind of works. But anyway, the reason I've got lots of energy today and the reason I feel quite upbeat is because it's so much warmer. <laughs> it is. It's been about 13 degrees today. So when I had my bath earlier, which was absolute luxury, <laughs> it really was deep and hot and gorgeous. And I had it when the heating comes on around lunchtime. So it felt even more luxurious because getting out of the bath, it felt warm. Oh, the luxury of it. Oh, just it kind of felt like a spring day. I know. Crazy, really. So anyway, that's made me kind of feel quite good. Um... I don't know, it just makes things feel better. 
doesn't it? Yes. What else was I going to say? Anything else? No, I think that's it. Paul's just popped out to the plot. I've just noticed it's getting really cloudy. Really? It's been beautiful blue skies all day. I don't want cloud and I don't want rain now, but I think it might do. Mind you, cloud means a higher chance of a beautiful sunset, which of course, if there is, I will capture for you. Yeah. Ooh, it's really grey. Grim. Mm. Yeah, Paul's just popped out to the plot to do whatever he's doing down there. Lots of people today in the street. I keep thinking it's Saturday. Pardon me. But it's Monday. Hey-ho. Crazy times. Crazy. There's a bird. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, really pleased with having a bath, washing my hair, freshening up, putting some fresh, clean clothes on. Because I felt as I was in the same clothes for days. Well, I was. And I did smell. Not badly. Slightly. Well, these 48-hour deodorants these days are a boom, frankly. I'm going now because I'm waffling. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to turn that computer on. And I'm going to show you how I make music using the computer. And how easy in reality it is. Yeah. It's not going to be a training session, don't worry. I know how to explain things simply. I used to be a trainer, okay? Trust me. Any of you could do it. Honest. See you in a minute. I'm back. This is where I work where I do my music and editing. Up at the top of the house where it's lovely and warm. I've got a really old keyboard. And the way that um, basically it works is through something called MIDI, which is Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And MIDI allows you to connect to a computer, basically, and use the keyboard as a controller so, for example, the program I use, FL Studio, will take the signals from when I press a key, feed it into the computer, and then play whatever sound I select using that program. And it's all made possible by this little device, which is a, an interface, which enables me to plug the keyboard into this and then this into the USB port on the computer and that's it. And this will also take microphones as well so I can record vocals directly into the computer. Very, very simple. So none of the sounds on the keyboard are actually used. It's simply used as a keyboard. And this keyboard, believe it or not, is probably... God, it's... I don't know over 30 years old. It's a really cheap Yamaha keyboard. Thank goodness it still works. Um, and it's a small keyboard, which just makes it a bit easier for me. I'm gonna show you the program that I use, which is called FL Studio. Now I bought this program, uh, whew, I don't know how long I've been using it for, quite a long time, at least 20 years, I guess. Is it 20 years or maybe, no, maybe a little less than 20 years, maybe 15 years. And when you buy a program like that, you get lifetime upgrades. So every time they bring out a new version of it, I get an upgrade. I'm due an upgrade, but I haven't done it recently because we're about to switch over to Windows 11 on this computer. So we need to do that first. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very, very simple. It looks really complicated. Um, and admittedly, it takes a few years to learn how to use them well. Um, but I'm not a super user of this program. I just do simple compositions. But it can be fiddly. It can be more detailed. You can basically control every aspect 
of your music production down to the tiniest of details if you want to or you can just use it as a simple composing tool. Um, I'm going to show you, let me get it booted up and I'll bring you in closer. So this is the program that I use, FL Studio. Um, I'm currently working on a little piece at the moment. So this box in the middle, which is a, a sort of movable box. I can have that wherever I like. These are the instruments that I'm currently working with that I choose from a list here. I can choose various synthesizers, drum machines, you name it, I can, I can choose whatever I want. I can sort of drag them over here and then start working with the instrument and composing something. And when you're putting things together, you get a readout here. These are all the notes and how long they're playing for. So if I were to play this pattern, That's what I've currently done. And then there's another pattern that I've written, pattern number two. Is it pattern number two or pattern number three? I'm not sure. Yeah, pattern number two. And they can be put onto the playlist together, two different patterns, and played at the same time as a song. Well, that's very basically how it works. This data is digital, so it means it can be manipulated in any way that I want to manipulate it. I can do whatever I want to it. So I can chop it up, I can cut it into pieces, I can rearrange it, put it in a different order. I can make it sound different by adding different effects. There's, there's loads of things I can do and there's loads of controls, loads of menus, but I try to keep things simple. And it's taken me, as I say, quite a long time to learn how to use it. But, you know, if you really want to learn something like this, once you start, it becomes a journey. And there's so many different sources of information that you can tap into nowadays online to teach you how to do a particular thing. I mean, literally every note can be manipulated to to the nth degree but actually the whole process is is pretty simple I mean if I wanted to add some drums to that I can just drag a drum pattern drop it on and it will play along at the right time with those notes automatically so a lot of things are built in and just completely automatic um, so you know yeah it's really handy so I just thought it'd be interesting for you to see that I know most of you are going, oh, my brain hurts now. But believe me, it's not that complex. If I can do it, somebody who hates numbers and maths and things like that, if I can do it, believe me, anybody can. I'll say goodbye now before your brains explode. It's Tuesday. Tuesday evening. Not a lot to report. Back at work today. <clears throat> Uh, this morning was so dark. Oh, goodness me. When we woke up, we couldn't tell what time it was. It was so grey, so cloudy. Just really feels like we're in the depths of winter at the moment. And it's been kind of gloomy all day long, you know. 
it might be a little milder, but ugh, gloom, gloom, gloom. And today, throughout the day, it's just seemed to stay so grey and dull and it was wet earlier as well. We've had a little bit of wind. It's been quite gusty, but nothing like uh, the weekend. So there's this other storm, apparently Storm Jocelyn, which I think we're feeling some of the effects of, but we're not going to get it bad here, thank goodness. But a lot of people have had a lot of damaging wind, which is really not great. My heart goes out to anybody that's affected by, you know, either high winds or floods, anything like that. It's just horrific, horrendous so stressful but it's weird actually because you you know i think i've said it before you see these videos of people who are you know being rescued from their homes in a little boat you know and they're going ah, smiling at the camera i mean the great british stiff upper lip even in the middle of a total catastrophe, we're usually going, oh, uh, hello, at the media. I don't know. So yeah, work has been relatively quiet today, which is good. A uh, couple of appointments. Yeah, a few phone calls, a few bits of document work to do, but nothing too taxing, which is good. Yeah, Paul's just had a bath. We're about to eat some food, settle down for the evening. I feel as though I'm a bit bunged up tonight. Um, yeah, nothing much to report, really. All good. I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening. It's Wednesday evening. I'm forgetting what day it is at the moment. With having had Monday off, it sort of put me out of rhythm in a nice way. So, today has been pretty mild weather-wise. Uh, dry, fairly bright in places. A um, little bit of cloud as well. But I was walking out of work with a colleague and um, she said to me, Oh, it's light. You know, it's much lighter tonight. And I said, isn't it amazing how we all do this every year as though it's never happened before? We're always sort of slightly surprised by it. And I think it's lovely. I think it's a lovely time of year um, when the light is starting to return. And there's that sort of feeling of hope, hope of warmer days, hope of lighter nights. And I said to her, my colleague, I said, you know, I think it's in our DNA. Because, you know, I think I mentioned this on Planet Vegetaria when I posted about the lights, the, the nights starting to get lighter. And I, th I think it is. I think it's part of our DNA in terms of the ancient people, you know, um, I don't know, cavemen, for want of a better term, um, would have realised how important the return of the sun was for so many reasons. You know, being able to be safer, warmer, being able to, I guess, hunt and survive. Survival, that's it, isn't it? Survival is built into our genes, you know, with the fight or flight mechanism that we all have, the adrenaline that kicks in when we're in a situation that we need to deal with, in the rare moments we're in those situations, you know, unless, of course, we're suffering from extreme anxiety, which some people do, which kicks that 
reaction, that fight or flight into action too often than it should do, leaving us feel feeling stressed. But luckily I don't suffer with high anxiety these days. Mild anxiety, yes, but certainly not high anxiety. So it's just really interesting, isn't it, that, that this reaction to the light is is built into our genetics. Evolution. Wonderful. I love thinking about things like that. I really do. I mean, you know, I don't love thinking about the horrendous lives that those ancient people probably had to endure. You know, the lives that we have in modern times are much easier, aren't they? If you can afford your heating, of course. I've got the ceramic heater on at the moment for a little bit of warmth. It's not too cold, but it's not feeling warm this evening. It's, uh, I think, because we've had quite a bit of breeze. Um, it sort of gets into the house, but it's not horrendously cold, which is great. I think it's been around 13 degrees today. And I have noticed, I must admit, that when the temperatures are milder outside, the house does seem to retain its heat a lot better. Um, so that's a good thing. And apparently for the next couple of weeks, it's going to be mild. So that's great. Really great. Because this time, I think two, was it two or three years ago, we had snow. Um, because I remember doing a video, a little reel on Instagram, I think, looking out the top window at a winter wonderland. <laughs> yeah. So Paul has been at Vanessa's today. He's on his way back. He's just texted me. So I'll be monitoring his progress. I'll be tracking him. Um, and then I know when to put some food on. So I think we're going to have a quiche tonight with some steamed veg. So I guess I'd better get cracking with that quite soon. Hopefully his journey won't be too bad. So, yeah. So there you go. Work has been relatively busy. I got a little bit tired this afternoon. I actually had quite a large lunch. I had beans on toast. Well, beans on pita bread, toasted pita bread. Um, and that sort of hit me around, I don't know, around half three this afternoon. I came over all sort of tired and drowsy. So I had to open the windows, put the fan on go out and breathe in some fresh air and stand up at my desk. Um, but yeah, work hasn't been too, too taxing, which is good. Busy enough, but not too bad. Haven't had anybody shout at me this week, which is good. So yeah, that's it for today, I think. I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening. It's Friday evening. I missed a day, I know. I forgot to do a vlog yesterday. Just slipped my mind. Don't know why. I was probably just wasting time doing nothing. So, this week in all has been fairly busy. Today was probably the busiest day. And that's what Fridays are like at work. 
They can be either incredibly slow or manically busy because I think what happens is on a Friday afternoon, they sort of all send me stuff to do that they've kind of been sitting on. Yeah, and there's this mad rush to get stuff done. And today was busy in other ways. So we had some engineers on site changing printers and photocopiers on the NHS side of things. Not really sure why. I think it's to do with a contract coming to an end. So they swap all the printers and photocopiers for different models from different company. Yeah, it's all a bit bizarre, but that's kind of what happens. I think it's personally a waste of money. But hey, what can you do? I mean, perfectly good printers being taken away. I don't know what they do with them. I suppose they give them back to the company that they've leased them from, I suppose. Yeah, I hope they get recycled. I hope they get reused by somebody else, reconditioned. But frankly, the way they were throwing them around as they were removing them was a bit disturbing. Whether they'll ever work again is another matter. Yeah, it's a weird thing with um, local authorities and the NHS and the sort of contracts they have with different companies have to be changed every so many years. You know, they have to be put up for tender and renegotiated with different companies. And I suppose it's about fairness. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I find it a bit strange. So, yeah, today was busy with things like that. Um, I've got Monday off again this coming week, which I'm very, very pleased about. So I had to do a handover to my colleagues which is just basically an email of any outstanding bits and pieces, which there were none other than a couple of things in the tray that need to be handed over to somebody on, physically handed over on uh, Monday. A piece of work and a book for somebody, that was it. I'm up to date because I like to be up to date every day. Yeah, I hate it when things are hanging over, I really do. Um, what's the weather been like? Sunny today, very sunny, very pleasant, a little bit cooler, but not too bad. We're sort of getting to that time of the year when if it's sunny, it can feel incredibly lovely in the sun, but in the shade, it's still cold. So I'm very pleased because it means our heating bill has gone down. We're on a smart meter, so we see the amount we use every day. So on a really cold day, we can be up to 16, 17 quid. On a mild day like today, it's around four or five pounds at this point in the, in the day. And then that will rise to maybe six or seven quid if we use a lot of heating in the evening. Um, when I say a lot of heating, I don't mean excessive heating. I mean enough to keep the house and us ticking over. I won't say warm because it's never warm. Um, so, yeah, all in all, it's been a fairly enjoyable week work-wise. Uh not much time for anything else, not much brain space for anything else other than a few games in the evening and some TV. There's been, the only thing about work this week is there has been quite a lot of issues happening again for people. Quite intense issues. Um, we've had a couple of deaths as well. And there are also a couple of people on palliative care as well, which is sad. But that goes with the territory. You know, people get older and they do die. So, you know, it's part of the job. 
Um, the people I feel sorry for are the carers in the care homes losing people because they, no matter how professional you are, I think people do get attached to some clients because of their personalities, you know. I'm quite fond of a number of clients um, who I chat to when they come in uh, and you get to know more about them over time. You invest a little bit in them, you know. So I saw a client this week who I always have a lovely, lovely chat with them and it was their final session with the clinician that they were seeing. And uh, you sort of have to say goodbye. You may see them again if their case is reopened. Um, but yeah, it's always a little bit sad, you know. So you wonder whether you'll see them again. But hey, c'est la vie. So Paul's cooking dinner. Uh, I've just put a wash out to dry. I like to, if I'm going to do a wash at the weekend, I like to get a load done on a Friday evening and then it will catch the wave of heat when the heating goes on at eight. And I've got a fan pointed at them and the dehumidifier as well because I've, I've found that the evenings are quite cool. So obviously, you know, I don't want condensation to build up. No. We had a little bit on the windows this morning, I noticed because it's been quite clear at night. Oh, that's right, that's what I wanted to say. There was a squall about four, half four this morning. I woke up, and I'm not sure why I woke up, and suddenly I could hear wind buffeting the house and rain lashing on the windows, and it lasted about, I don't know, about five minutes. And I know that a band of rain was sweeping across the country because it said so on the weather forecast, and I heard it. I managed to nod back off, um, and eventually got up about quarter past seven, I think. I felt quite tired this morning, I have to say. Yeah, I think I slept. I sort of went back into a quite a deep sleep, I think. Did I? I might be lying. Yeah, I think I did actually slip back into a sleep. And then the alarm went off. That's right. Yeah. Anywho, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Saturday morning. Well, is it afternoon? No, maybe afternoon. I'm not sure of the time. I don't have an Alexa up here that I can ask. <laughs> so we've just done Sunday chat. So I'm just about to sit down at the computer and edit. It's a lovely day. It's quite bright. Um, it was quite cold this morning. We had a bit of condensation, a little bit of frost on the rooftops. Um, and it's a little cloudy now, um, but I think it's going to be dry, which is good. So, yeah, not a lot to report, really. Um, slept well, which is good. Looking forward to the long weekend. We're going out tomorrow, which we talk about in Sunday chat. And yeah, just going to get on. Nothing much to see really in terms of sky views, just very hazy actually in the distance. Um, but at least it's dry, dry and bright, which is good. So thanks for watching this week. I know it's not been a terribly full week of vlogs, 
Um, but that's the way it goes, isn't it? Not every week is high octane and exciting. Not really. My weeks are never like that, thank goodness. So thanks again. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.